Hi everyone, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we are going to calculate the read time of an article. So in the previous video, I had shown you how to create this reading position indicator. So if we reach the end of the article, we can see that uh, this progress bar reaches 100% width. So now in this video, we will calculate the read time of an article and uh, we'll display it right here so that the visitor can understand how much time he'll be spending on this article. So if you search online, you will find a lot of articles uh, mentioning the read speed of people and you can go ahead and check out some articles before calculating this. But for this video, we're going to assume that the average reading speed of a person is 265 words per minute. So we'll calculate the read speed based on 265 words per minute. Alright, so this is the code that we had in the previous video. So we'll just add a division called read time just below the heading. So we'll type read time. And we'll just type something over here. Three minute read. And uh, here we can see the division. So let's go ahead and style this. So here we'll type read time. And uh, we'll give it a font style of italic. Margin of 24 and uh, 16 pixels font weight to bold and color to 636363 all right so this is our read time now let's go ahead and uh, remove this uh, text from here we'll be calculating it using javascript and uh, uh, we'll populate the text over here so let's go to our main.js file now we're gonna have to reference two things over here one is the read time division and other is all these paragraphs so we'll access all these paragraphs and uh, we'll check how many words there are in the paragraph so let's go ahead and create a constant and we'll type paragraphs and uh, here we'll type document dot query selector all and here we'll type article space p so this will reference all the paragraphs that we have in this article and uh, it will store all those paragraphs in this paragraphs constant. Now let's create another constant for the read time division. All right, now we'll create a function and uh, we will uh, call it calculate read time. So we'll type const calculate read time. And we'll call it down here. Alright, so first of all, we need to calculate the number of words that we have. So let's create a variable and name it number of words. And we'll set it to zero initially. And then we'll loop through each of the paragraphs and we'll calculate the number of words. So we'll use a for each loop. So we'll type paragraphs dot for each. And we'll set a name for the single paragraph. Here we will type number of words plus equals. So after we calculate the number of words inside one paragraph, uh, we want to add it to the next paragraph and so on. So we are writing plus equals. So first we have to access the inner HTML of the paragraph so that we can access the text. So we will type paragraph dot inner HTML. And the way in which we calculate the number of words is that we scan through the text and whenever we find a space, we store uh, the previous text inside an array. And then we go ahead and scan the text again. And uh, when we find another space, we store this in the array. And in this way, we have two items in the array. And then we calculate the length of the array and uh, we get the number of words. So that is what we're going to do over here. We'll just access a method called split. And we can split by different things over here. So we'll split by space. So we'll just add a space over here. And then we'll calculate the length. So now we have the number of words inside this variable. Now let me just open the console and see whether we are getting the right values. Alright, so here we will type console.log number of words 
number of words and here we can see the number of words is 585 so let's go to our HTML and uh, add a new word so we'll just type and over here the number of words is 585 if we refresh our page we can see it goes to 586 so in this way we have calculated the number of words now we need to calculate the read time that is the number of words per minute so let's create one more constant and we will name it average WPM and uh, the average WPM we are going to use is 265 so here we will create a new variable called read time and uh, we will type number of words divided by average WPM now we'll just console log that over here read time so here we can see the read time that is 2.2113 and these decimal numbers so we don't want the decimal number we want to round the numbers so we can use a built-in method called math.round And now we can see it has rounded it to 2. Now the last thing we need to do is display it on our article. So let's close this console and uh, we'll also delete these lines over here. And uh, here we will type read time division dot inner HTML. So here we will type math dot round read time and uh, then space minute read so now here we can see it says two minute read so let's go ahead and add some more paragraphs and uh, see whether it calculates it right so I'll just copy all this and paste it down here so now here we can see it says four minute read so this is basically how you calculate the read time of an article so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below and uh, click on the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video notifications. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.